All right, chip of the day. Um, so we've looked at four pin optocouplers. We've looked at six pin optocouplers. We've looked at eight pin optocouplers. We need to round it out. We need to look at a 16 pin optocoupler. And so chip of the day is a uh, ILQ55, okay? Quad is the Q. Uh, so it is four optocouplers all in one package. Really, really cool. Um, now the pinout is really weird on it. The diodes and the emitters and stuff all go different directions, so that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, let's see, what does it say about this thing? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, what we really care about, what we really care about is how many kilovolts will it take? <laughs> that's what I really care about. Does it say? Maybe this isn't, maybe I missed it. Uh, I mean, that should be the very, very first number they give you. How many kilovolts of isolation do you get with these things? And it doesn't. Hmm. Reverse breakdown. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Collector input, coupler, power dissipation, uh, test conditions. Coupler talks all about the chips and stuff. Transfer ratios, blah, 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 blah. Uh, insulation thickness, greater than 0.4 millimeters. Safety temperature. Um, isolation resistance. Let's see, max, here we go. Maximum transient isolation voltage, 10,000 volts. There we go. 10,000 volts, uh, repetitive, eight, about 900 volts, isolation resistance at room temperature greater than 10 to the 12th ohms. There you go, 10 to the 12th ohms, pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> so I've redrawn their, oops, I've redrawn their part so all of the diodes and emitters go in the right direction, but you can see the pin numbers. One, two, four, three, five, six, eight, seven. 15, 16, 14, 13, 11, 12, 10, anyway, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, it's all backwards. So this is the circuit that I have wired up. I'm going to be tying all of the uh, cathodes to ground and the anodes are gonna have 1K resistors coming in so I can enable each one. And the output will just go to some LEDs so we can see if they're on or off. Um, pretty simple. All right, let's see here. So I have taken an old project and married it with a new project. <laughs> so this is an old project. This is my new project. So this one is just a counter. Okay, I'm using a, a, a GAL, a gate array logic, to do counting. So this is gonna do counting. And then those, some of those counts, four, four of those counts, are gonna go to this board. And they're going to go into the 1K resistors. And they will go be isolated with the um, quad optocoupler and then they will light up the LEDs. So these last four LEDs should equal those four LEDs when we hook it up. Let's see if it works. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. To hide the, hide the, there. Look at that. What a beauty. You know, I find myself needing this all the time when I review parts and things like that. It's like, just need a little 8-bit counter that is just always ready to go that I can just plug into the board. So I think I'm going to do a project where I lay out a little 555 and, and counter and stuff just to plug into the proto board and have that as a separate little module that I can just put in anytime I need, need something that counts just to test things out. Uh, or I just need a clock or two clocks, like, a, like you know, something. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because I, I find myself needing this all the time. Um, I did lay out these little boards for the LEDs. Um, and I have uh, different versions. This version here is common cathode and this one is common anode. Um, and so you can hook it, hook it up different ways. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. You can see we are 10,000 volts between here and here, and it works, still works just great. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah.
actually they're, they're on common grounds right now, but you get the idea. You get the idea. This is what you could do. Now they do have up, I think up to uh, eight channel optocouplers. Um, I don't think I have any. I know I don't have any. This is the biggest one that I have is a, is a quad. So anyway, yep, there you go. Chip of the day is, what was the chip of the day? It's an ILQ55. Yeah, pretty nice. 